Hello， 大家好，我系 Sue Margaret， thank you for joining me here on my little Cantonese corner。今日二零一九年七月廿八号星期六 ，so today it's Saturday the 28th of July here in Hong Kong， and I'm with you today to talk to you about French toast。Now, if you follow me on Instagram at Cantonese Corner, you know that I posted an article from the SCMP, the newspaper here in Hong Kong, about how Hong Kong people eat enough French toast to circle the globe in one year, and、um, that's not actually surprising considering how good it is. So let's take a look. If you're、uh, ordering French toast, you are probably in a Hong Kong style diner, which is, oops, which is ta tan pan. It's down low, falling for cha, which is tea. So cha tan tang, a pie for the tan tang, which is your restaurant or diner. So cha tan tang is your Hong Kong style diner. If you are there, you're ordering sai tao si, and sai tao si is your French toast. Sai is actually the character for West, or it is the character in Falan Sai. Which is another way to say France. If you saw my video on countries and nationalities, we learned France is Fakwa. But、um, another name,、um, I guess some people might say the more proper name is Falan Sai, and that's where the Sai comes from in French toast. Okay, so Sai Tao Si is your French toast, and that was number one on the list of the most popular foods,、uh, snack Hong Kong style snack treats to eat in Hong Kong.、Uh, the second one in terms of sweet treats. Is toast with condensed milk and peanut butter. Now this one, you know, Cantonese likes to shorten everything, so they've shortened this long thing down into nai zheng dao, nai zheng dao. Okay, so that goes for the nai. It's the low rising nai. Now you'll probably, if you're in Hong Kong and you've ordered it before, you're thinking,、oh, I've never pronounced it with an n sound. So this is similar to how the in Cantonese u, right, is Night, or more commonly pronounced nowadays, is light with an L sound instead of the N. So this is another similar one where night is the more proper way to say it, and light is usually what you'll hear. Okay, so light jer jer comes from your peanut butter, and then do a pie for the do is your toast. So night jer do is your toast with condensed milk and peanut butter. Now, condensed milk, nai is actually milk. Okay, but if you're talking about condensed milk, you'd be saying lean lai, right? Down low for the lean, and then back up lai, lean lai. Okay, the lean lai is your condensed milk. And Hong Kong has this unusual relationship with condensed milk. It's in a lot of things here. They'll put it into like Ovaltine or Horlicks.、Um, they like to have it on toast a lot, so you can get toast with. Butter and condensed milk, condensed milk and peanut butter, and、um, sometimes if you're in the tea house for yang cha, you can get just the man tao, like the fried bread or the steamed bread, and then they'll give you like a dish of lean lai to go along with it, and you'll dip your bread into condensed milk. So I have to admit that in the states, I think I've only used condensed milk in baking, but here it's it appears a lot, and it's very very good. So condensed milk then is lean lai. And your peanut butter is actually fasan jer. Right, fasan jer is peanut butter.、Um, but of course, when you're saying just the lai jer do, you're just saying lai jer do the jer is your fasan jer, is your peanut butter in your toast with condensed milk. Number three is a pineapple bun with butter. Okay, now this is not just any ordinary kind of butter that you just kind of they just smear on as they would on toast. No, 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 no. This is a pineapple bun with a thick slab of butter in the middle. Usually, the bun is warm and the the the、uh, butter is kind of cold. And if you'd like to order that, you would be saying, "Bo lo yao," right? A pie for the bo lo yao. Okay, bo lo is pineapple, and yao, the low falling yao, is your butter. Okay, so bo lo yao is your pineapple bun with butter. Now take a look. We've got to put in English the bun. You can't just say pineapple butter, right? Because that probably would be something a little bit different. But pineapple bun with butter. Your pineapple bun. Notice it doesn't appear in the in the in the Cantonese. So if you wanted to say a pineapple bun, it would just be the oh bao. Again, your bao high tone bao is、um, is your bun or bread. So oh bao is your pineapple bun. Butter 
um, is no yao. Uh, sorry, no no yao. I wrote this wrong. The accent mark should go down. Not like the pang yao, right? I know you know yao, right? Because pang yao, that would be the low rising yao, pang yao. But this butter is no yao, all right? No yao. So the accent mark in the yao system should be going down, okay? Um, no yao, no is cow, okay? So no yao is butter, which comes from a cow, okay? So that's your pineapple bun with butter. Now, I actually have a pineapple bun here I'd like to show you with butter that I got from the, the little restaurant down the street. So this is your pineapple bun, and you can tell that, you probably know this, but there's nothing, there's nothing pineapple in a pineapple bun. The reason it's called that is because you can see the crusty, the sweet crust topping actually looks like the side of a pineapple. And so it's called a pineapple bun, but there's nothing pineapple about it. So if you're like, I don't like pineapple, don't worry, it doesn't even, there's nothing pineapple in it. Inside you'll see that thick slab of butter, right? A thick slab there of butter. And this would be your foroyal, okay? Um, on the other side here, I have a dan tat, and that's our next one on the list, the dan tat. This is a very sad looking dan tat because it's from yesterday, so it got a little bit dried out. But um, this is what a dan tat looks like, except a lot more, a lot prettier, um, that you would find in a Hong Kong style diner or in a bakery. And the way to say it in Chinese, which I think I have been saying, is dan tat. It's down low for the dan, up high for the tat. So it's very easy to distinguish, right, if you're going dan tat. Okay, that's quite easy to distinguish your egg tart. But you may have learned egg already as gai dan. Now this dan is that mid-rising dan. So when you're talking about an egg, like a chicken egg, you're going to be saying gai, which is chicken, the very high tone gai dan, that mid-rising dan, gai dan. But when egg appears like in an egg tart or in cake, do you remember how to say cake? Do you know how to say cake? It's also this low tone, dan go, right? Dan go is cake. Dan go, dan tat. Okay, so those eggs, well, I mean, you don't say egg and cake, right? But in English, egg, egg tart would be the down low, dan, dan tat, and dan go. And when you're saying egg on its own, it's gai dan, dan, that mid rising dan. Okay, I hope this was a little bit of fun just learning different um, names of things that you'll find in a Hong Kong style diner. Again, if you haven't been to one, please go visit and order some Sai Tao Si because it is really, really good. And it's unlike anything you probably have ever had anywhere else. And if you have had it, leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought and um, or about any of these other things you may have tried or any questions you may have. And um, if you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'm super excited because coming up this month in August, I have quite a lot of things going on. Um, I was asked to actually teach a Cantonese course for some boys coming over from the UK um, who are staying a short time in Hong Kong, and that's super exciting. That's the third week in August. I'm also gearing up for these online courses for you guys, and I'll be explaining more about that as the month goes on, and we'll be launching in September. So I'm super, super excited about that. Thank you guys so much again for all your support, and um, I will see you again here on my little Cantonese corner. Bye!